Hi, New Hope. My name is Teacher Emily. And for the past few Sundays, we've been learning about Jesus, how he's been teaching people, performing miracles like changing water into wine, and healing people like Bartimaeus' eyes so that he could see. So this week, we're going to be learning about a story that comes from the book in the Bible called Luke. Jesus is in a garden and he's asked his friends to come along, his disciples. And he's there to pray because he has to go through something really difficult. He's going to suffer and to eventually die for us. But this was part of the plan that he had made with God to rescue us. Jesus was going to take the punishment for all the wrong that anyone had ever done or would ever do. So, in the garden, Jesus is here in white, and his friends or disciples are behind him. All of a sudden, they see Judas, and Judas is supposed to be one of Jesus' friends, but he decides to betray Jesus, which means he decided to become Jesus' enemy. And he brings all these soldiers along to come and arrest Jesus, even though Jesus had never done anything anything wrong. They came to take him away like he was a criminal, like a bad guy. And they were really mean to Jesus. They hit him. They spat at him. They used a whip to hit his body. His body was all bloodied and bruised and cut. He had to suffer so much. And they even mocked him, which means they made fun of him. They gave him a purple robe and they made a crown of thorns, ouch, and put it on his head. And they said, if you're a king, why can't you save yourself? But they didn't understand that he was there to save them, to save all of us. And so they made Jesus go up a steep hill with this really heavy wooden cross. And Jesus was so badly hurt that they called a man, Simon, to come and carry this cross for Jesus. And once they got on top of the hill, they had to put Jesus on this cross. And do you know how they did that? Well, they took some nails and put it in his hands and his feet and nailed him to the cross. It was so painful. You can see Jesus was there. He had his crown of thorns, the blood is dripping down, and he had all those cuts and bruises. He had suffered so much just for us. And even though he went through all of this, he still prayed to God, asking God to forgive all the people that had done this to him because he said that they didn't know what they were doing. So God was on that cross, left there to die. But he was there to show us how much he loved us. He was there and he went through all that suffering because he loves us so much. He took the punishment for our sin and all of our disobedience. And why did he have to die? Well, this was the only way that God could destroy sin without destroying his people, us, and our sinful hearts. Because Jesus died on the cross for our sins, we can now go to God and ask God to forgive us for our sins and he will forgive us. And we can live with God forever because of what Jesus had did on the cross, what Jesus had done on the cross for our sins. And some of you may know what happens after this. And so stay tuned next week to find out. Um, now we're going to put our hands together, bow our heads, close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you so much for sending your son Jesus to live the perfect life 
and to die a terrible, painful death on the cross for our sins. God, we pray that you would help us to understand the sacrifice that you have made for us and the grace that you have shown us. We thank you so much. We love you and pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Now we're going to move into a time of craft. For this craft, you will need a white piece of paper, the printout, which looks like this, a pair of scissors, glue stick, and some construction paper. You can get any kind of colors you want, and even you can even get um, some scrap pieces of construction paper. So here we have pink, red, blue, and purple. Um, but you just need to make long strips. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to cut these long strips um, so that we can paste them onto our white piece of paper. So you can really do any kind of width that you want, maybe a couple inches. So we're gonna be doing purple, pink, red, and blue. And depending on how many colors you can have you have, you can do a few different strips of the same color. And when you're done cutting your strips, you can go ahead and arrange them horizontally on the white piece of paper. You're gonna wanna fill about three fourths of the page. So go ahead and cut some more strips. Once you have that done, now you can take your glue stick and you can glue those onto the white piece of paper. Once you have everything glued, you're going to take your printout and you're going to color the cross black. And the bottom of the cross, this is going to be the hill. So you can color anything. You can color it with brown or black, whatever you want. Once you've finished coloring your cross and your hill, you're going to cut them out and then you're gonna take your hill and just glue it to the white piece of paper with the construction paper on top. And then you're gonna take your cross and then glue the cross onto the hill. And there you have your craft. Hopefully this will remind you of the amazing sacrifice that Jesus has made on the cross for our sins. Thank you.